started, I was like, oh my god, is it gonna start? As in, am I just doing this for fun, just to pass time? Or is it really actually gonna sell? And I thought to myself, I just need something that's unique. I don't want to do something that everyone does. That I'm, I don't want to sell shoes or handbags and clothes. So I thought to myself, why not sex toys? And the reason sex toys is, I think it's because um, I wasn't in the country before. I was about for eight, seven to eight years. I was out of the country in London. I was left to study. I'm a lawyer. I studied law, so I'm a lawyer. So I studied my law degree, and uh, after I came back home to, to from my law, after my law degree and my masters, I came back. And I thought, let me just do something before I kind of get into the grid. Most of the women, the ladies are single, majority are single, even though I still have the married ones. And the married ones are the ones who probably they're not satisfied maybe at home, because like, they do tell me, you know. Most of them come and say, um, um, I haven't been satisfied in a long time and I feel that the vibrator apparently does the job and I'm like oh god yes it does the job you came to the right person goodness sex is a big taboo in Kenya um, no people are not willing to talk about sex openly um, and not even sex no you think about sex toys girls are like what what are this it's wrong it's immoral it's illegal then they, they always have very many um, ways of putting it off but at the end of the day what matters to me is the fact that I'm making women happy because the demand goodness is very high so I think what was I in a matatu that's how bold I am yeah and I gave this chick next to me my my business card she's like oh my god I'm so happy I've been looking for this she's like give me five more I have girlfriends who are interested so it's, it's something that people really want, but people are scared. You can't just go into a shop like this and you start looking at the size and know. Yeah. So people on the underneath, Chiniamaji. So what happens is, uh, obviously me and my boldness, go to Twitter and I will tweet and tweet and Instagram. But I guess you're telling me, by the way, babe, we actually mute you. Because sometimes we're in the office, we want to go on Instagram or, and then your everything is there. Personally, the times are, I, I do care, but I thought to myself, what should I care? Yeah. As in, I need to make money. This, as in, at the end of the day, I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting help from anyone. I'm paying my own bills. So what's the point? It'd be, it'd be a shout out to. Let me just do.